Hi, I'm visual coach Patrick van der Meer and I'm a bit clumsy because I was recording this whole video on how to do HLS streaming and then I didn't get my sound right. So if I publish a video, it goes like... All right, so what I'll do, um, I might redo it later. Now I'm just going to quickly run through it so you can see what's going on. So I'm, I'm on my laptop. And the first thing I did was making sure, because everything is already installed on this machine uh, to, to run uh, HLS uh, video streaming. So except for the restreaming that we already set up, we are also doing the uh, streaming for the um, HLS uh, or the Dash player later on. Okay, uh, so. First thing you can do is a sudo make directory and in a, the, the temporary directory, you're going to do an HLS um, a folder. Then you hit enter. Then you make sure that that in the EJTR you are allowed to read and write to that folder. So shmod minus capital R777 slash temp slash HLS. Just the same. Then, oh, did I do a typo over here? I guess. Because I typed it. Oh, I did a sudo. Yeah, I did a sudo, sudo in front of it. Otherwise, uh, you, 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 it will not uh, fly. So don't forget the sudo. Then I um, configured a port to open for HLS. So that was port 8080. So we have seen it in the other videos. Just sudo uh, Ubuntu firewall UFW. Allow port 8080 and the command is uh, HLS. So if when you ask for the rules, you know, okay, this is the rule for that uh, HLS streaming. Then uh, you have to uh, restart NGNS. No, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. You have to go into the configuration file. The configuration file has a couple of new lines. There we go. Um, let's go through this. So we have this HTTP section, and in this HTTP section, uh, the, the, the web page, the default web page is configured. And we need to configure an uh, access point for uh, the uh, HLS uh, stream to be delivered to, for example, VLC or a player that I built myself. Okay, so. In the end of the file, after this, where the normal pages are being served, you type server and uh, uh, curly braces open, and you start listening to port 8080, semicolon. Then the server name is the IP address of this, is this particular machine. Otherwise, if another machine wants to connect to this machine, it doesn't know the IP address, then, uh, or that IP address is not uh, given over here, then nothing will fly. So get the IP address over here. In a different video, you saw already how to get the IP address. That's uh, the net tools need to be installed. And then you type uh, if config, one word, and then you will present with all these addresses. And one of the addresses is the local IP address of the machine. Then there needs to be um, a location to uh, hook up to. So the location is slash HLS. And then uh, the types that you want to present over there are, and I have to drag this a little bit wider, um, uh, application, and this is one line, no spaces, up to here, M3U3, there there has to be a space. So that means that there is files, and these are video files with the extension of TS, uh, that there is a, a playlist file, M3U3, that is what you actually uh, are configuring here. Then, of course, when the server gets a request on port 8080 and on the uh, HLS um, uh, address, then it has to go to the root, uh, TM, TMP, so that's the temporary folder, and then there is a header, other header, and then there's cache control. That, I, don't know, I see a typo over here. Interesting. Uh, why is that not flying? I seem not to be able to word, type the word cache. Let's correct it. Cache control, no cache. 
And then of course, don't forget all the right semicolons to close this. This is the last one over here that belongs to the server one. This one become, comes with the location and this one. And then the types are being this and this one closing open. Then there's also a um, uh, uh, change to make in the RTMP section, which is over here. And I have to be careful because I don't want to show too much because there's also my uh, my streaming key for my uh, YouTube so I don't want to expose that okay so over here it says um, you can you can keep this push on by the way it, it will do the same it will do it as well um, you can do the uh, HLS uh, on and then there's a path, and that's of course the path that we just configured. And then uh, HLS fragment is three seconds, that's, this is seconds. And then the whole playlist is 120 seconds, so it only has, it holds only 120 seconds to browse in. You can change that to any number, I guess. So when you have all done that, um, there's no extra brackets in here, so that's no problem. You just do a control um, uh, X, and then an S to save. In my case, I'm not saving it. Yeah, I just do wrong keyboard, Control X, save button. But no, I'm, oh yes, 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 yes. I'm 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 as stupid as can be. Uh, yeah, because I just said that I had uh, a typo over here. So of course I'm saving this. Of course I'm saving this. Control X and then yes and enter. So when you have done that, then you have to restart your whole uh, machine or not the whole machine, uh, the, the, the um, Nginx uh, machine. And that's actually simply this command. Um, if that doesn't want to go, which is possible, then you might need this. Ho, 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 ho. Then you might need this, but uh, if if that goes wrong, then you will know. Then then it doesn't accept the config file that has been changed. Right. When you have on, done all this and this is now running, you can get your OBS. So I've got my OBS over here. Uh, make sure that the settings are set to your machine. That's over here. That was just as it was before. I didn't change anything over here. OBS doesn't have to have any changes. I'm just switching to uh, whatever, some other uh, in the cam. Hey, hello. I'm just switching to this. So uh, this is being now pushed to the server. And now we can have VLC. If you don't know what VLC is, just uh, get it from the uh, App Store, Windows App Store in this case, and then open a network stream. And the address is an HTTP address, not HTTPS, HTTP. Then the address of the of the the laptop, my laptop, your laptop, the one that you uh, have Linux on on running on, point to port 8080, and the HLS folder. And as um, the configuration of OBS said, you know, give this extra key over here, OBS, and end with the M3 U8. So do that. Boom, works. So I hope this uh, shorter video is to your likings. And otherwise, I'll uh, I'll configure this live. Actually, all the all the configuration was as shown. Thanks for watching. Give a thumbs up. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like um, it helps me a little bit uh, to reach other people and give this information to others yes i stole it of course from others i, I, I had um, AI, ai chat uh, dtp helping me a lot um, but uh, here it is and i'll make a, a, a one for dash as well a video for dash as well which is not that much different